Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today I'm going to try to repair my bush hog. I made kind of a half-hearted attempt at fixing it a couple weeks ago and what I found out from that was it's a bigger project than I thought and I really need it up in the air. I could use my forks and try to set it on something and then work underneath it but I really don't like that idea so what I'm going to do is switch this artillion frame over to have my three-point adapter on the front end loader and then I'm going to use the loader to carry the bush hog and then I'll set it down still on top of something maybe these IBC totes maybe a stack of plywood I'll set the bush hog on something but I'll also have the front held up by the tractor then I should be able to get under it and I've got a couple of more ideas of how I'm going to straighten out this bent and damaged area and get it up and running again. So, let's get to work. <clears throat> so taking this apart is another reminder that I need to get all these shelves finished so I have a convenient place to put these instead of setting them on the ground. If you haven't seen my videos on this, this is an adapter plate that goes right onto the artillion frame that lets you put a three-point quick hitch or just three-point attachments, whichever way you prefer, onto your front end loader. Now I'm doing it a different way than I have before. And normally, I put this plate on first and then put on the quick hitch. I just decided to see if it was gonna be easier or more difficult to put it all together at once. So this was heavier to do it this way, but it was quicker, so it's still not too heavy. And just like that, I can now run any type of three-point attachment I want on the front or carry it. I don't have a setup to run the bush hog up here, it's just to carry it. Alright, so I got the bush hog up in the air, but before I start trying to work on it, I've got my little brother Tyler here, and he's been eyeballing my tractor. I don't know if he wants to steal it or what, but just going to see if he has any thoughts. you have any thoughts? Any thoughts on tractors? No. Any thoughts on anything else? No. What about ghosts that dress up as a cat for Halloween? Any thoughts on that? Yeah. What about it? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so the issue with my bush hog is that this back edge right here is bent and wavy. And that's caused by me backing over stuff that was too big for me to back over. I kind of knew at the time that I was handling material that was too big for it, but I decided to do it anyway, and now I've got to fix it. Another consideration is that there's all these square holes right here, and those holes are meant for an optional bar that reinforces the back edge of that. I didn't even know about it, so I didn't get it, but I wish I had. And after this is fixed, I have two choices. Either I can use it for um, smaller diameter material, and just mow with it and small brush or I can reinforce the back or I guess the other choice is I can trade it in for a more heavy-duty brush hog but as far as fixing it I thought it was gonna be pretty easy I just hammer the the dents and the bends out well so when you hit it with a hammer it just bounces it really doesn't affect it at all I was really swinging this pretty hard couldn't even tell I'd done anything. Now, one of the ways I've 
often straightened out something like this is with crescent wrenches. Usually put two large crescent wrenches, slide them up under it like this, and just pull out. All right, so with this just being a straight edge right here, I can get enough leverage to bend this out. Now I'm not gonna get a nice perfectly straight contour from this, but I can bend it enough to make it usable again, which is what I'm really looking for. I've got a friend who does metal work. I may end up taking it to him for a better job eventually. Tyler, what do you think about the crescent wrench method for straightening this? Is that a good way or not good enough? A good way. It's pretty good. It works on an area like this that's just straight sheeting down. The problem here, this is the area that's the most damaged and it has a sidewall coming down and then it bends and comes out. So I can't slide a crescent wrench up over that where it's bent out. So this is only rated to cut inch and a half material. I was cutting three or four inch material. And when I realized how much I had bent this, I decided I just won't cut that larger material very often or, or at all until I either upgrade or reinforce this. And I just went to cut actually just some high grass over here behind the shop and I did most of what I wanted to cut and then I wanted to get into one more area. I still had this down fairly low and I turned and was backing up and there was a rock sticking out of the ground and it hit the side of this where it was already bent and caved it in quite a bit more just backing into it. And this is where right now the blade hits. If I lifted this up where it's not setting on the IBC tote, you'd be able to see that the blade smacks this right here. And again, I can't straighten it because it has this flange right here. Let me get the camera down there where you can see that flange better. All right, so with that same method, my next strategy is maybe I can put a pipe wrench over that bend, get it open wide enough, and then clamp down and I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to give it a try, but I have a next step and a step after that if this doesn't work. That's working pretty well. That took some of the bend out of it. I think if I did that about 30 more times, I might get it straightened out enough for it to work. But I might have an easier way, so I'm gonna give that a try. Next step is C-clamps and angle iron. Now this is something I've never really tried before. What I imagine is gonna happen as soon as this video is published, is that there'll be a lot of people with more experience than me that tell me a simple way to do this and I look forward to hearing it. But I didn't find any YouTube videos where people were showing how they straighten a bush hog. I saw lots of them where the gearbox was ripped out, but nobody doing or handling a problem like I have today. All right, so besides taking this to a professional, I had about five plans to go through one at a time until something works. Obviously the first plan was the hammer, didn't work. Second plan was crescent wrench, worked out there but not back here. Third plan was the pipe wrench. That worked better than either of the other two plans. This is number four, is putting two of these on. Step five is using this torch to heat the metal and then bend it with the angle iron. And then step five is using angle iron on the inside of this and using the clamps to actually do the bending. All right, so this is almost the same strategy as the crescent wrench or the pipe wrench, but the thought here is that I'm able to more directly apply the leverage where it needs to be with a longer handle and have two of them that don't fall off. So 
I can get more leverage. All right, so trying that felt a lot like the pipe wrench or the crescent wrench. That it was having some effect, but it's very difficult to pull and wasn't really having the effect I wanted. So now I'm gonna go try the same thing, but heat this first. see we now have right here it was hitting we now have about three inches of gap it was hitting here got about an inch and a half of gap and then back to three inches so we're still in a little bit right here oh yeah and I can see it from there tried a little bit more right there Alright, so I started with the area that was bent the worst and that was stopping the brush hog from functioning. Now that that's dealt with, I'm going to straighten out all these smaller areas. I'm going to wire brush where this paint was burnt off and then repaint that and then talk a little bit about what my plans are for reinforcing this or replacing it.
All right, well, I look forward to the comments about ways I could have done this better or easier. I always learn a lot that way. But for now, this is fixed, it's functional, and it's gonna go back to work for me. I've got some clearing I need to do right up here as soon as possible to get ready for the new building that's coming. So, long-term plans, I'd still like to get a bigger, heavier duty brush hog. I've narrowed that down to the MX-6 John Deere or a Woods brush hog. I've heard nothing but good things about those and I was starting to kind of lean that way. But the issue is, I've got this bush hog rolled into the financing on the tractor. So if I want an MX-6, they can just do some paperwork and swap me out. It'll add a little to my loan or however they do it. And it'll be very easy. If I want to get another brand, I have to sell this one, then buy the other one, and you know pay cash for the difference. So for now, I'm going to use this. I'm going to talk to Jimmy that does my fabrication and see if there's anything he would recommend to reinforce this back here. But honestly, I feel like if the back of this was just a little bit sturdier, I'd be good to go and just maybe be a little bit smarter about what I do and do not run over. But I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.